Green sand or green sand is a sand or sandstone which has a greenish color. This term is specifically applied to shallow marine sediment, that contains noticeable quantities of rounded greenish grains. These grains are called glauconies and consist of a mixture of mixed layer clay minerals, such as smectite and glauconite mica. Green sand is also loosely applied to any glauconitic sediment. Topic Formation. Green sand forms in anoxic marine environments that are rich in organic detritus and low in sedimentary input. Having accumulated in marine environments, green sands can be fossil rich, such as in the late Cretaceous deposits of New Jersey. Topic. Occurrence Important exposures are known from both northern and western Europe, North America, southeastern Brazil and North Africa. Well-known and important green sands are the upper and lower green sands of England and occur within Eocene and Cretaceous sedimentary strata underlying the coastal plains of New Jersey and Delaware. Although green sand has been found throughout Phanerozoic and late Precambrian sedimentary deposits, it appears to be most common in Eocene, Cambrian, and Cretaceous sedimentary deposits. Topic Brazil In Brazil, green sand refers to a fertilizer produced from glauconitic siltstone unit belonging to the Serra da Saudades formation, bambui group, of Neoproterozoic, Ediacaran age. The outcrops occur in the Serra da Saudades ridge, in Alto Paranaba region, Minas Gerais. It is a silt clay sedimentary rock, laminated, bluish green, composed of glauconite 40 to 80%, potassium feldspar 10 to 15%, quartz 10 to 60%, muscovite 5%, and minor quantities of biotite 2%. Gothite enriched levels of potash have K2O grades between 8% and 12%, thickness up to 50 meters, 160 feet, and are associated to the glau Glauconitic levels, dark green in color. Glauconite is orthogenic and highly mature. The high concentration of this mineral is related to a depositional environment with a low sedimentation rate. The glauconitic siltstone has resulted from a high level flooding event in the Bambui Basin. The sedimentary provenance is from supracrustal feldschich elements on a continental margin environment with an acidic magmatic arc foreland basin. Topic: <laughs> Great Britain In Great Britain, green sand usually refers to specific rock strata of early Cretaceous age. A distinction is made between the upper green sand and lower green sand. The term green sand was originally applied by William Smith to glauconitic sandstones in the west of England and subsequently used for the similar deposits of the Weald, before it was appreciated that the latter are actually two distinct formations separated by the galt clay. The upper green sand was also once known as either the Mom or Mom Rock of Western Sussex. Both upper and lower green sand outcrops appear in the scarp slopes surrounding the London Basin and the Weald. Prominent seams are to be found in the Vale of White Horse, in Bedfordshire, in Kent, Surrey, the South Downs National Park, elsewhere in Hampshire, the Isle of Wight, and the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. 
The soil of the green sand is quite varied, ranging from fertile to fairly sterile. On the fertile soils chestnut and stands of hazel and oak are common, while Scots pine and birch colonize the poorer soils. These green sand ridges are popular long-distance walking routes, for instance the Green Sand Way in Kent. <laughs> Lower green sand The lower green sand, known as the Woburn sand north of the London basin, is of Aptian age. In the Weald, the lower green sand consists of four deposits which are partly diachronous: the Atherfield clay 5 to 15 meters (15 to 50 feet) thick, the Folkestone beds 20 to 80 meters (60 to 250 feet) thick, the Hythe beds 20 to 110 meters (60 to 350 feet) thick, and the Sandgate beds 2 to 37 meters (5) to 120 feet thick. Although it appears both north and south of the London Basin it is not present everywhere beneath the chalk group which underlies the basin, the galt lies directly on eroded Jurassic or Devonian rocks under much of the area. Upper Green Sand The upper green sand is of Albion age. It represents a sandy lithophases deposited in areas of stronger currents than the galt clay. Like the lower green sand it is not present beneath the whole of the London Basin, apparently passing laterally into galt clay east of a line between Dunstable and Tatsfield and of uncertain extent to the east of London. Outcrops of the upper green sand occur in the southwest of England including the Blackdown Hills and East Devon Plateau and the Halden Hills, remnants of a once much wider extent. Topic. Properties and uses The green color of green sand is due to variable amounts of the mineral glauconite, an iron potassium silicate with very low weathering resistance. As a result, green sand tends to be weak and friable. It is a common ingredient as a source of potassium in organic gardening and farming fertilizers. Green sand glauconite is used as a water softener for its chemical exchange properties. Green sand coated with manganese oxide called manganese green sand is used in well water treatment systems to remove dissolved reduced iron and manganese with the addition of an oxidant usually potassium permanganate under controlled pH conditions. It is also used as a type of rock for stone walls in areas where green sand is common. In Roman times in Britain, coarse grits derived from the lower green sand were used to line the inner surface of mortars grinding bowls produced in Oxfordshire pottery kilns. Recently, glauconitic green sand has become a popular organic soil amendment. The porous properties of glauconite green sand allows for the absorption of water and minerals, making irrigation and nutrient delivery much more efficient see soil conditioner. Green sand can be used to absorb excess water in clay-rich soils and to prevent water loss in sandy soils. See also Glauconite